Here's your forecast from the first alert weather team. The summer solstice is today, so officially, astronomically, we hand off from spring to summer. 4.51 p.m. is that exact time, if you're curious. Uh, this was a day that was made for sunglasses and sunscreen. These beachgoers at Wrightsville on your Bob King GMC First Alert Skycam Network next to that 80-degree surf with their flying red Today on the really mathematically the longest day of the year, we get one of our latest sunsets tomorrow through July 5th opens our absolute latest sunsets of the year in Wilmington. That would be 827. Contrast that to the lead up to winter time from November 30th through December 7th. We'll get our earliest sunsets of the year into Port City, all times local. That would be just after 5 p.m. So a lot of daylight this time of year. We're going to get some moonlight with June's so-called strawberry moon the next couple of nights. If you want to rise, uh, want to watch it rise, excuse me, this evening at 737. That would be in the southeastern sky. And you can watch it all night, really, because we'll have uh, clear enough skies in your forecast for this evening and the overnight hours. OK, we're watching the tropics. Got to do that day to day in hurricane season. Alberto, as I mentioned in first forecast, now a tropical depression over the mountains of Mexico. Some other items of interest from the National Hurricane Center. A disturbance getting ready to swing into an area that Alberto just vacated. Has medium development odds over the next seven days. And closer to home, a disturbance dubbed Invest 92L. It's got that Invest tag. It's running out of time to develop, but it's moving closer to Florida and Georgia. So that puts it of interest to us. And the presence of that disturbance is actually generating that easterly flow and the rip current risk. So it's kind of all connected. An easterly flow evident here on this Carolina cloud and precip model will start this afternoon. I want to Scoot you forward into this evening, overnight tonight. There's those moonlit skies. And then look how 92L gets close enough to leverage a chance of a shower or thunder shower. This afternoon, 80s and dry. Tomorrow afternoon, 80s to around 90 with an isolated shower or thunderstorm. We really could use something widespread because the U.S. Drought Monitor just released its latest map this morning. And it is a lot more colorful with those drought and near drought designations for the Cape Fear region and Carolina. So, Kim, we're looking for higher percentages there. We find some, but here's the trade off. We also get higher temperatures and higher heat index values for some of those days like Sunday and Monday. Going to be sweating in the summertime. Back to you.